Good morning guys, how you doing today? Today's Tuesday, August 30th. It's my little one's fourth birthday. She's super excited this morning. <laughs> and we gave her a little little present today. It's called a flip -a zoo that thing. And all her friends love it. She loved it. Videos uh, gonna be going live shortly. Pretty funny title for this one. I don't know what made me do it, but whatever. I think you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So today's topic, talking about what was announced yesterday, and that was the event for Apple's keynote, where they announced the iPhone, the next generation iPhone, and of course everyone's. Uh, Starting to splurt out rumors on what exactly they're going to announce. And, you know, they come up with all these elaborate potential announcements. And at the end of the day, a few years ago, Apple stopped doing, like, this grand introduction of new things. I think I did a little research... And what I mean by research is just Google different <laughs> years. It's not really that, that big of a deal. They introduced the Apple Watch, I think in 2014 or 2015, at the iPhone event. But before that, it really was just about the phone. It really wasn't anything else. And of course, the operating system. But there wasn't really any other hardware. People need to get a grip on what exactly... Apple's going to be introducing, which, in my opinion, it could be the same thing this year, the new watch and the phone. I think they did that because it really is an accessory for the phone. So they really want to put them together and have those introduced together. I think that's the point of that. But I think they're trying, have been, not trying, they have been compartmentalizing the products. So I think they've been doing different announcements for different things. So. Later this year, we'll get the announcement for the new OS, laptops, potential monitors that they keep talking about, which we've been hearing about for years, but I guess is getting to be even more now. Apple has been consistently compartmentalizing all that stuff and keeping it all separate. So depending on the amount of upgrade for those devices, such as the iMacs, the MacBooks, those things, They've just been introduced and released via press release because it really wasn't that big of an upgrade. It wasn't really that big of a change. So they just, you know, upgrading the processors, different memory, you know. When they have something big to announce, they'll have a, an event for it, such as the new phones and stuff like that. So that's their bread and butter, those phones right now. So that's the reason why they have the events every year. So the rumor websites just throw the stuff out there. They really have no idea when any of these things are going to happen other than someone else talking about it and them just, you know, reporting on it, if you want to call it that. I mean, they're really just trying to get news out there for clicks and, you know, drive people to the site. You can do what you want, but the problem is you get built for that reputation and where do you go with it? Either you make a contact with somebody and you're able to get the news early, or you're just constantly just reporting what someone else does. And that's the sad thing about the internet. You can get big off of that. <laughs> and that's the reason why people do it. And it's just, it's unfortunate because there really is no work involved in it. And it really is just, you know, it's crappy. But people are going to read it. So... I guess if you have no conscience and, you know, that's that that's your game plan, by all means, have at it. I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's all pretty much what we do on YouTube. Except, I mean, we have the products in our hands most of the time. And we're at least giving an opinion on it instead of trying to traipse around and get information on rumors. You know. But... I just couldn't do that. I mean, it's fun to be able to be the guy that broke the information first. 
but that, that just gets tiring, you know, I, and, and I see lots of websites attempt to bring news to their site to bring people in, and it's the same thing with videos, it's the same thing with anything in life, just trying to get, to get noticed, but the keynote is coming up on the 7th, which is pretty cool, and it'll be interesting to see how well the rumors worked out, which is what it's always been. And you watch the event, and people on Twitter, including myself, breaking stones about things that are common sense, that companies like to push up as the greatest thing since sliced bread. So that's always funny. And then you see things that are out there, you're like, really, that's, that's what you're going with? That's what you're gonna introduce to the world? You know, we all play armchair quarterback, you know, and we're like, ah, I wouldn't have done that. You're crazy. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting to see yet another keynote from yet another company. Of course, the keynote for Apple has changed drastically over the years for the simple fact that, you know, it's no longer Steve Jobs at the helm. And I've been saying that since day one, since the first time he skipped a keynote because he was sick that it's changed forever. The, the, the keynote is not gonna be the same thing that it used to be. Especially when he passed away, I said Apple was going to change as a company. And they have. I mean, the guy was a showman and he was a salesman. That's what he did and that's what he got people interested in. He, he made everything seem like it was better than it actually was because he was passionate about it. Whether that was playing up to people's wants and needs. At the end of the day, again, he was a salesman. He was a showman. That's what he did. That was his speciality. There was nothing more to it, nothing less. He believed in the product, and he believed that everyone should use it, and it was the greatest thing. You know, stories get released about his life and how he was a tyrant and overbearing and all of that. But when you take a look back at his life, you realize that he pushed people to be better. And of course, he drove people insane. So you take the good with the bad, I guess. I never experienced anyone like that in my life <laughs> that was that driven about something. So I, I can't really speak for those who had the bad experience with him. So that's you have to go off of those stories and have to evaluate it from that to say whether you think he was brilliant or a dickhead. But that's that's my feeling on Apple changing as a company and being that grandstand and having that presence on stage. It's just, it's not there anymore. There's, there's no one like Steve Jobs at that company that's able to get on stage like that. I mean, there are some people that are personalities. It's just a different personality. It's not what we come to expect. I mean, seriously, you have someone that started the company talking about the product as opposed to someone that's been brought in talking about the product. That's that's the biggest change. In my opinion, I don't feel that it's genuine, even though I'm sure it is. I mean, hell, that's their livelihood, right? I just don't feel it's as, as genuine as Steve Jobs was. It's not that I don't enjoy the keynotes and the rumors and all that sort of stuff. I guess I'm just bummed that I don't have the time to be able to look up all that stuff anymore and to be able to do that. I'm probably jealous in a way of those guys to get to do all that. Maybe I want to do more of that. I don't know. And that's just just food for thought for anyone out there that might think that, you know, I'm hating on the idea. I don't think it's that. I think mentally... Mentally, I want to be more involved with it because it is fun to be able to to be able to break that and to be able to understand it more and to do all that. But it just year after year of not seeing a lot of the things people say that are going to happen at keynotes. I want people just to kind of pull back and just realize what they're saying as they're saying it. You know, you can say, "Wouldn't this be neat? Wouldn't this be cool?" However, take it with a grain of salt. Previous years, doesn't seem like it's gonna pan out, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Instead of this rock solid attitude that it's going to happen and 
you know, the, the idea that there is no consequences for it. But before I get home, I gotta stop and get some gas. And that damn tire is still low, or is low again. So I gotta get that pumped up, and I gotta get that checked out. I gotta get my oil changed. But you know what's funny? This, there's this guy on Twitter. His name is Danny Win, 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 Winget. Danny Winget, Winget, Win, Winget Winger. And he says, you know, congrats on the hundred subs. If you show me that put air in a tire again, I'm unsubscribing. I, I think that was the first time I did that, right? Well, Danny. You'll watch and you'll like it. Happy birthday. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> did you get out of your crown? Oh, they got you a purple crown? <laughs> Sweet. Oh well, yeah, that's why you open it. She told me she thought it was a phone. You thought it was a phone? <laughs> I thought that was a funny guess. Huh? I think you're going to be disappointed. It's not a phone. Here you go. Thank you, Dada. You're welcome, sweetie. Mm. <gasps> Ooh. Flashcards, sight words. Sight words! Get ready for kindergarten. Okay. What? She's like dropping the paper on the floor. What's that? Rapunzel. Rapunzel? What do you think that is? I don't know. Who's that? Who's that? Ariel. Good job. Do you want us to open them? No. No? No, you're just gonna leave them in the box? Mint, mint, in, new in box? Mint condition? Mint condition. Oh, you do want it open. The ones. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Well, I'm editing the vlog, and that was a bit philosophical. So, sorry about that. It may not be for everyone. <laughs> so, I hope you guys uh, are still here watching this. Uh, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And in the comment section, I want you to tell me what your favorite Apple product is. So, comment down below. Thank you again for all the support. Subscribe for the next one. And I'm going to wrap this up. And I'm going to bed. You guys take it easy. And until the next one. See ya!